Authorities in Dubai were appealing for an international manhunt for suspects linked to the killing of a Hamas commander after releasing dramatic CCTV footage of what they claim was the elaborate operation stalking him. This picture shows a woman alleged to be part of the surveillance team for the hit checking into a hotel. Officials added their narrative about what they believed was happening in captions at the bottom. Dubai police charged that 11 people with European passports made up the squad that killed Mahmoud al mabhu who in an ambush in his hotel room, although there were challenges to the suspect list. Ireland said the three people alleged to be Irish citizens don't exist, while Germany said the passport number for the lone German suspect isn't correct. And officials outside Dubai said Jordan has handed over at least two Palestinians linked to the case to the UAE. Still, Dubai officials were sticking to their story of a plot that included spy caper costumes. Here they superimposed a picture of what one suspect looked like without his disguise. They didn't address the question of why such an apparently well-planned operation would forget about Dubai's wide-ranging security cameras. This despite police alleging they paid for all expenses in cash and used different cell phone cards to avoid being traced. Police also claimed the team, pretending to be vacationers, rode in the same elevator as al Mabhu in order to verify his room number, later booking their own room across the hall from him. The police chief said assassins entered his room while he was out and waited for him to return to kill him. He said forensic tests indicated al Mabhu died of suffocation, although more lab tests were underway. In Gaza, meanwhile, the victim's brother, speaking surrounded by posters of a late commander, called the Palestinians in custody collaborators. But he was sticking to the initial Hamas claim that Israel's Mossad spy agency was behind the killing. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.